What's up guys, welcome to Daily Gray. I'm gonna keep this very short because we have got a lot of days of filming to get through and I don't want this vlog to be seven million hours long. So, today is the day I set off for La Rock Mall. The competition starts tomorrow. We compete on Sunday, um, but you know, prep. Dog food's ready, dogs are ready. Need to pack the van. I like to say, I'm not gonna film much today at all because we've got so much to get through over the next few days. And the last thing I want is my phone going, sorry, your memory is full. And I'm like, ah, fuck. Not what I need in my life. Not what I need. I mean, I'd figure it out. I would figure it out. Dropbox or something. So, I'm going to go and pack the van. I'll probably next catch up with you. Maybe another little update later on. Or maybe when we hit the road. Or maybe when we arrive. I'm just packing the van now. Well, I'm cleaning the van out slash packing it. Um, whenever I go away, I like to clear everything out. Like... I only want to take the shit that I need. So, rubbish bags, clear the back out, clean it, disinfect everything. I do it every time I go away on a job as well. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to setting off now. It's 20 past three in the afternoon. Um, so that means, I don't know, four or five more hours will probably hit the road, around seven maybe. Um, it's not even just about the competing for things like this. It's, it's the social, like our whole team are going down. We have a great time, we'll go for dinner. It's just a great weekend. It's just generally a great weekend. Any trial, it's not just because it's Lorkmore. Lorkmore is a very good trial. I do enjoy it a lot. But night trials was the same. We had a fucking great time at night trials. And the dogs all worked out of their skin. I don't think we had a bad, a bad run from any of the team, which is impressive. So, almost time. It's almost time. This is where being a dog trainer becomes part of the uh, club that you want to be in, rather than fucking minus five in winter like this is the glory time i try and document all the bullshit before it but this is the fun right time. we're on the road officially we're on the road um i've had a haircut fun fact of the day it's now quarter six i'm heading out to siren um, which is oxford way of the world to meet up one of my friends jc get some last minute training in um and then head up to Wrexham in Wales I'm also stuck in traffic which is the fucking bane of my life there are just some things in life aren't there that you cannot deal with traffic for me is one of them really fucking pisses me off like it puts my anger levels through the roof immediately and it's not even horrendous traffic I mean it is we're doing 12 miles an hour but I mean it's not horrendous that it's going to last forever Maps says it's going to be an 8 minute delay but it just really riles me like just come on I mean, when there's a crash, you know about it because you're in a standstill. This is just some fucking idiot driving slowly at the front and then doing the backup, backing up thing. What can you do? What can you do? Um, so I'll catch up with you maybe later on. Oh, that's bright. Where's your sunglasses when you need them? God damn it. Um, yeah, I'll catch up with you later on. Maybe. Or maybe I'll see you... At Laurent one. Now, who am I kidding? I'll be back on camera before before we get to Wrexham. Um, maybe on the drive up. Cold coffee number two. That exposure's not ideal, is it? That's not ideal either. Jesus Christ! I feel like a vampire. That's better. Um, yeah, I'll catch up with you at some point later on. But today's not going to be the exciting day. Tomorrow's when the excitement starts. I'm going to get some footage of, you know, various dogs. I'll try and get the BVK team, whoever's competing. I don't actually know if many of us are competing this trail. But we'll all be there, so I'll try and get them. I'll get some bits and bats. If there's a dog that I find interesting, I'll film that. You know, whether it, whether it be for good or bad reasons, because we can then analyse that later on and learn from it. Um, I'll catch up with you soon. It is now 10 to 4 in the morning. We are about to leave the Oxford vicinity of the world. Last minute prep done. Dogs run. Rottweiler tired. I'll probably run flack again when I get up there because um, he's going to be stuck in all weekend. Also, if anyone's got a 14-ish plate Citroen, dis Citroen dispatch, can someone tell me how I've managed to put my wing mirrors? Oh, I've just done it again. Ah, 
figure it out. If you've got a 14 plate Citroen Dispatch, or the same model as that, if you pull the wing mirror mover towards you, it puts your wing mirrors in and out. I did it earlier and I couldn't fucking figure out how to get it back. I just knocked it when I was putting my windows up and I couldn't work out how to get it back. So they've been stuck in for like four hours or something. Well, would you look at that? Beautiful. So we're gonna head up to Hlandegla, um, which in my opinion is Wrexham, or as fucking close as damn it. But I've been assured it's not, it's Landechle. Landechle, land of the sheep. Sorry, that's racist. Um, shit in hell, I'm tired. Yeah, 4 a.m. Let's go. Right, so a few hours have passed, and Saturday, day one, is about to kick off. So, I'm gonna let my dogs out for a last pee, and then we'll uh, we'll get some footage for the day of some dogs. Um, what I might do is voice over it after the fact, um, but I might not. So the next bit that you see might just be footage of the day with some music played over it, or it might be voiced over if I've got anything interesting to say about certain dogs, or you know behaviours that are going on, why it's happening, what what the deal is. Because I appreciate that not everybody's in the working world, and this will probably be quite new to you. So, like I said, today's puppy and level three later on. I don't know what the deal is yet. We got here, grabbed a couple of hours sleep. We've not even been down yet, so I've not seen the venue, I've not seen anything. So, let's go and find out. Right, so what I'm going to do for this video is voice over and we'll have a chat about the trial. I'm back at home now. Um, it's now Monday. So the day you're watching this, if you watched it as it's gone out, is the day I'm doing the voiceovers. <coughs> so this is level one obedience. And I've tried, what I tried to do was just film one dog from each thing, you know, from each bit. Um... So obviously, dog walks on field, dog is briefed by the judge. The guy in the red t-shirt on the left is Ian Morgan, who is the organiser of Lorockmore. Fun fact of the day, Lorockmore is his kids' names. Lola, Lo, Lo, Rocky, Rock, Moore, Morgan. Lola and Rocky Morgan. Lorockmore. So, they're just doing a brief. Um, puppy... Oh, this might be puppy obedience, actually. Yeah, this is puppy obedience. My apologies. This is not level one. Puppy obedience was was really quite good. This, the standard across the board. The standard in puppy and the standard in three and the standard in one were pretty good. The standard of obedience in level two was across the board poor. There was one good dog, a very good dog, <coughs> which scored double points to everyone else. So... That dog, you can't really see it, but that dog's on a barrel, like a three-foot barrel. And he's just got to sit there. I've not filmed the whole routine. There was a bit of heel work before this, and there's probably bits afterwards. And But if I filmed it all, this vlog was going to be well, well, well over an hour. Um, I think it's already about 30 minutes, something like that. So the dog's just to sit there, sits there. And bear in mind, this is puppy class, guys. So these dogs are anywhere from zero to 12 months. Um... This is hard going. And then a recall back to the handler. Right, where are we at now? This is level three. So you'll see the jump between puppy and level three. Now this is Chloe. So for those of the, you that don't know, I train with BVK. This is Mrs. BVK, Scott's other half, who is my decoy. So you, you can't really hear it here, but the decoys are shouting and banging and you can see the visual, obviously, but obviously you can't hear the audio because I've had to mute it to voice over it. But they're shouting, this way, this way, this way. They're trying very hard to take the dog out here. And Onyx is very, very good at this. So there's... He ain't going to have any problems here. <clears throat> I don't think he has any problems. Maybe he does, we'll see. 
So there's world running backwards, trying to evoke prey drive out of the dog. If you watch Paul, who's the guy in the black and yellow suit, he does some bizarre dance moves and jigging around. and So he's at the other side of the A-frame, banging the barrels. Onyx has to go over the A-frame and not bite anyone. So two decoys are there trying to, trying to make this dog break its positions. Dog has to down on the other side. Kick a football around. There's just all these distractions. Like have a little fight, throw the streamers. There's just endless distractions in this. It's fucking hard going. Really hard going. Back around for heel work. Kicking the football through the A-frame. Oh, she had to go over the A-frame. Okay. <clears throat> so now Will's stood right next to the A-frame. Trying to break the dog. Waving his arm in front of him. And Paul stood right in front of him. He did really well there. That was a really fucking hard test. Really hard. But this is what level 3 is like. Level 3 is meant to be really hard. If it wasn't, it would be a different level. It's the top level at this trial. So it's like gold at AVD Night Trials. Kick things at the dog, kick things at Chloe, shout at Chloe. This dog shouldn't break. And there's a bit of conflict here between real life and trials. Because if someone was doing this to me in real life, the dog would go and bite them. And I would want them to do that. Um, and it's probably where we struggled. You'll see how much I struggled in obedience. I predicted that in Friday's vlog. It's, it was expected. But uh, there's definitely conflict between real life and a trial. And you can train both. There's no doubt about it. Because there are people doing it. This dog here would bite you for real. 100%. No doubt at all, this dog will bite you for real. But as you can see, we're playing the trial game at the moment. So here, I'm not entirely sure what was happening. Um, the judges were writing on their scorecards, but it seemed to take ages. I mean, it's no biggie, he's just in a, in a heel. Isn't he? The dog's completely capable of doing this. Without much problem. And there's a bit in level 3 that I didn't film, so while they're not doing anything, we'll discuss that. So, after this video, the dog was putting a down stay at this side of the lake, the handler had to walk round the lake, um, the decoy stayed with the dog, and then they had to recall the dog away from the decoys. It was a very, very hard obedience test, but Onyx did well. I didn't film it because it all happened behind the Muzmuz TV banner, behind that bush there next to the lake. You couldn't see anything from where we were set. Right, what's next? What's next? We're back in heel. And you see these distractions of them throwing things and banging and shouting at the dog. They're, they're all additions. Why was my finger in the screen? They're all just additions. It's like any one thing here, a lot of the level three dogs wouldn't have struggled, but you put them all together and it starts getting difficult. Oh, he did break, he did break, I've just remembered. Just remembered. So right now the dog's in, um, I think he's in a wheelbarrow, if I remember rightly. I'm sure he's in a wheelbarrow, is he in a tunnel? Maybe the wheelbarrow is only in level two. I can't remember what this station is. Yeah, he was in a tunnel, and he's about to go in another tunnel with a tarp over it, and then the decoys are really going to try and pull him out, and this is where he breaks. But this is still a bloody good round. She was second after obedience. Dog in the tunnel, stay in there. And now Will, the guy in the blue bite suit, is going to try and pull Onyx out. And unfortunately, he does so successfully. He nearly doesn't. So there's a decoy at each end now. You'll see him just shuffle out in a minute. He just shuffles and then as soon as he shuffles he breaks. There you go, shuffle, out. And then the dog's on. And she'll just call him back. Onyx, no, you got it wrong bud, come here. So that was maybe partially impulse control and maybe partially Misunderstanding of should I actually bite this guy? It's getting right up in my grill now. What do you want me to do? <clears throat> From here then, they go do this water test. Um, there's really nothing to see. You can't see anything at all.
I say they go and do the water test. Maybe there's another station. Let's have a look. No, no, that's it. They, they're going to go do the water test. Um, so, yeah, that was Onyx's level 3 obedience. She did exceptionally well. She should have been happy with that. It was a good, a good round. about to start but unfortunately um, all the bike workstations are in buildings this year so I can't film anything I'm sorry I don't know what to do I can't capture this they're all in buildings uh, I'll try and snatch a bit of footage maybe off one of the tripods but we'll see right so it's now day two the day that we compete um, level one's about to start um, level one obedience level two obedience level one protection level two protection so Here's my prerequisite guess for how this is going to go. Level 1, obedience. Cleesey will be okay in the heel and then flop fucking really hard when the decoys start being dickheads. And I say be dickheads, it's what they're doing. They're trying to distract the dog off away from their obedience. So we'll flop hard there, we'll lose loads of points. Protection, I think she'll do well. Um, however, there's building search for the closed door. I think there was last night. Um, she'll struggle a bit there. I think she'll struggle with level 2 protection, it's hard. Um, but she's ready, she's, she's capable. So it'll depend on my handling skills. How she comes out the van on the day. Um, there's all sorts of variables every time. But what I'm not ever going to do is put excuses in. If she fails at something, it's because we didn't fucking train it enough. End X. The dog is capable. So, the reason that there was no bike work yesterday was all of Puppy and all of Level 3 was inside. In buildings. That you can't see. So I assume Level 1 and 2 today are going to be the same, but we shall see. I need to go get off. Get sorted. Obedience is starting very soon. Right. Here we go. The shambles of the century. Someone put a comment up on the live stream like, Jay Gray needs to go back to his academy, there was no control. And I was like, yeah, no, bro. I didn't get a chance to reply, but... Um, that's why I would have replied, because this was fucking shocking. And I said on Friday's vlog that this would be terrible. The heel work was okay, and I said it would be okay, and the um, anything where there was impulse control in a position, I said would be terrible. Um... Guys, if you want to compete in these kind of trials, you need not even a decoy that can work your dog, but somebody that can get in a suit and and put you through through these scenarios. You know, like, we don't get any time with doing this. And it's my own fault. Like, fuck, I'm not going to blame the dog. She just doesn't understand the picture. It's completely my fault for not prepping for this properly. And I know at this point you're probably like, oh, this doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's not horrendous. Well, you just wait. It gets really bad really soon. So her whole association is... When when we see a guy in a suit, we bite him. 
That's what we do, because that's what we do every time we see a guy in a suit. So it's really important to get that timing with a decoy on the field doing obedience. Like I said before, I, I travel four hours there and four hours back to my decoy. I don't want to do obedience. I need a guy in a suit on my field every day. Um, so, this this goes from bad to worse. Trust me. We're just doing the other direction heel now, which is her strongest aspect of this game. And it's her strongest aspect even in normal obedience. Don't get me wrong, you still need normal obedience, as in on an empty field. You need, you need to have all that in, your positional work and, and proper heel work and, you know, all the pivot box work and all the rear end awareness and all of that needs to be in first. But then you've got to add this distraction. You can put aspects of it in your, on your own. Watch how much of a knob she becomes here. Barking at the guy, barking at the guy. Barking. So I've just told her to sit, I'm not told her to bark at the guy. But it's weird shifty guy in a suit. Like, It's just the association. And people get so pissed off at this point. You know, they're screaming at the dogs and kicking the fuck out of them. And just relax. If you've gone this wrong, it's your own fucking fault. Like, loads of trainers will shy away from this. They'll give bullshit reasons. Like, he had a bad leg. The decoy saw me off. It wasn't what this the organiser said it would be. Fuck you. The reason this dog is doing really badly right now is because I didn't train properly for this. Be all and end all. Capable of training for this, for sure. I have no doubt about that. Um, and I'm not going to voice around that too much. Oh, here we go. Handshake. And three, two, one. Let's bite the guy. <laughs> it's just a game. Someone approaches you in a weird, aggressive manner. We bite the guy. Someone approaches in a bite suit. We bite the guy. We now have both of them things. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to voice too much that I'm capable of doing this. We'll just we'll just see at the next trial, won't we? There's too many people talking and not training. But that will always be the case. Like, on the Muzmuz lives, there's loads of people, like, chatting shit on every single fucking dog. That dog's shit, that dog's weak, that dog did bad in the body work, that dog did that bad in the obedience. All right, mate, you're sat at home doing fuck all. Shut up. Run your dog, not your mouth. Right, into the wheelbarrow. There's a tug in that wheelbarrow. Just just fun fact. You'll see here, what, what you can see the difference between obedience and obedience with a decoy. So at the moment, the decoy's a fair way away. Tell the dog to stay in the wheelbarrow. Staying in the wheelbarrow, because the dog's at distance. This is just normal obedience with minor impulse control. She's good at this. As the decoy gets close, watch what happens. Watch Khaleesi. Watch her. There. That. that nah, that's too close now. That's... That's, I'm dying to get out. That's, we need to train this bit. And now she just jumps out and bites his leg. Straight out, whack. Straight in the leg. I have no, dog, no doubt that the dog can bite. <laughs> we, we, we've got that bit down. So uh, this next year is going to be about control around a decoy. Like I say, I really need to get a suitable suspect that can come to the field on a regular basis and wear a suit. It's just important. We need to get, we need to get this in. I mean, failing that, I might start putting obedience in all of her training sessions before bite work. When we go see Scott, we won't get as much done. Um, so I would, I would like her to compete in level three next year, really. Because she did level one last year, level two this year. It's the logical progression, isn't it? Now we had to get in this tunnel. Now, she had no problem going in the tunnel. But then when I told her to down, she just kept coming back out. And I'm like, the fuck? So the issue we had here was... I'll go in the tunnel, Dad, but I don't want to stay in the tunnel. I want to go and bite that guy. You see her looking over the tunnel. You're like, oh, nope, I want to go over that. I want to go over that. Because the sex she's getting in, I'm screaming at her to lay down. She's just like, nah, I really don't want to get in here. But this is weird because some dogs won't get in here because of nerve. And I half expected that when she first came out, but then her body language isn't remotely portraying nerve. It's portraying I want to go and bite the decoy too much to lay in this tunnel. Which is frustrating because that's... Really, really, really wasted points. That's zero on that exercise. Zero. But hey, I'm living there. There's no point in getting annoyed with the dog. It's not the dog's fault. And then people, even at this point, are still getting annoyed with the dog. Like, from here on in, you're going into bite work. Let the dog have his head. Or her head, in my case. 
So this is a bark at passive man. He's sat on the floor. He's sat away from us. Ian's explaining here what the exercise is. He's facing away from us and we've got to walk up to the man. Dog has to remain quiet. And then Ian will give a signal and then you've got to switch the dog on. She has no problem with this. This is, this is bread and butter for Khaleesi. She'll switch on at a fence if I ask her to. There are many things that dog is lacking. But a good bark command is not one of them. So now we have to sit. I'm looking over to Ian for uh, instruction. There we go. Watch him. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. And then that's, that's the end of that obedience. So that was a massive fucking shambles. And it's my own fault. We live and learn, guys. Live and learn. Right, now we're into level one. Long send. It's one of the stations. Basically, they had to do a little cross over the lake, but you couldn't really see anything, so I didn't get any footage. And then they had to do these long sends. The guy basically is throwing a sleeve. Oh, that's a level two dog. My bad. Anyway. The guy's basically throwing a sleeve out for the dog. So as he's running, he throws the sleeve. The dog has to ignore it and carry on. Oh, this is level two as well. Shambles, Jay. Level two. I'll explain level two with Khaleesi's because that's all in order. But this is just a bit of bite work. Right, here we go. Khaleesi's level two protection. She was meant to swim across that lake. However, I know she doesn't particularly like swimming. And I really hoped she would run around. Because this whole lake here. That's a Mali at full whack. This is a big lake. Bottle fight at the end. Whack. Whack, 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 whack. Love it. Giving it licks there. So it was a, it's a big lake to swim across. I was hoping she would run around. I thought she would because she doesn't particularly like swimming. But I was hoping she would as well because it's going to preserve a lot of energy for the other stations. And I was only going to lose two points by her not swimming across. So it was like a tactical two. And then here, the reason these outs take so long. I'll never out my dog in bite work. Not that she probably would here anyway. I want to build this possession, drive, desire to fight, desire to be in there. You like keep fighting, Khaleesi, keep. So here I'm like, good girl, good, 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 that's good. Over and over and over again. Right, next station. This is a long send. The guy has a suit jacket over his bite suit. So the dog's going to bite the outer suit. Um, and then he's going to chuck it on the floor as he's running and keep running. The dog's got to spit the suit out and bite the man again. And she does fairly well. Wasn't perfect by any stretch, but it was okay. So the suit falls off. She's playing with the suit. She sees the guy. She takes the right suit a bit. And then she lets go and bites the guy. Good. Nice leg bite. That's two leg bites in two stations. She's not really a leg dog. And I think she gets another leg bite as well. So that was a good station. I liked that station. It's an interesting test because it dictates whether the dog wants the man or wants the equipment. Flack would take the man all day long. Khaleesi's falls... In between. Right, the next footage is really hard to see what's happening and you'll see that there's absolutely fucking nothing that I could do about it. So this is a room with a strobe light, a smoke machine and a firework. I don't know if you can still hear the firework, but it's fucking loud in there. Very loud. But you can see the firework. Dog has to come in. Come on, dog. Oh, here's the dog. Bite the guy. So he's not really putting any physical pressure on the dogs here. He's just blocking them out of the way, so they're just struggling to physically get in to get the bite. Um, she's not thought this through well. If she'd have gone up here, she'd have got the bite. She was chasing legs. And she gets the bite, and it was all good. But that was not a hard pressure station. Now this one, look, there's, there's bottles here on every other step. So a dog just can't get any traction up this staircase. Um, this is Drea going up now to film, to film it. So the dog will come up the stairs. The decoy will be at the top with two canisters and they'll, they'll have a canister fight at the top of the stairs. It was a good test this, it was in level three as well and I'm glad they kept it in for level two because it's my kind of station. Khaleesi got four marks on this, five from both judges and five from the decoy. Which means that she did absolutely nothing wrong, she was committed in the bite, her grips were good. And you'll see here, fighting them. It'll, they'll fight, fight, fight. They're purposely not letting them in here. So this is a this is a fight. Dre's gonna close the door in a minute. I think it was getting a little bit close. There you go. But yeah, four marks here, five from each, each judge. I was really happy with her in this station. That's it. We've done everything we could do. Trial finished. 
for us anyway, they're still competing. Um, as you can see by the sweat pouring off me, that was hard going, very hard going. Um, so, back to watch the end of the trial, and then we'll see what the results are. She was third after obedience. If she finishes top four, I'll be very happy. If she doesn't, we go back to the drawing boards, get the fucking work done. That is it. I know you can barely see me. Can you see me if I come over here a bit more? I'm just on a really, well, I'm still in, I'm still in Bedidris Hall officially. So we're on private land, so we can, we can film like this. <laughs> um, Laura Moss done. Police did well, third place, happy with that. Um, yeah, very happy. If, if she, if I had prepped for that obedience, um, she could have done better uh, because she was, she got eight points for the entirety of obedience and she got 53 points total, just to give you a, a perspective of, of how many she lost during obedience. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. If you ever go and compete guys, whether you do really well or really badly, I've done both. Um, but in fact, no, we've never done really, really, really badly. But it, like we did really badly in obedience. People on Facebook like, he needs to go back to his academy because he's a piece of shit. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I agree, it was fucking horrendous. Um, don't get caught up in placings. Obviously take note of them. Like you're not, you're not there just to fuck around. And if you are there to fuck around, then this doesn't apply to you. But if you're there to truly compete, um, don't take too much notice of placings. I wonder if I can move this anywhere so I get some better light. I just packed up. Uh, not really. <laughs> um, like I say, take note of them. Take take note of where you're at and what you're doing. But don't don't fucking go and beat your dog to death because you came last. Like it's your fault. It's my fault today that we fucked up in obedience. It's not Khaleesi's. I didn't train it properly. We didn't prep for it. Um, nobody will ever believe um, any of us. But none of BVK prepared for this trial. Really, we decided three weeks out. My academy guys don't know. I told them when I decided. Um, it was a good trial. It was a very well run trial. The stations were a lot harder than they've ever been. In all classes. In puppy. In one, in two and in three. Um, so now we go back to the field. If you do well in a trial guys. Enjoy it. Like. Enjoy this. I can't even fucking see it can you. Enjoy the trophy. Enjoy the certificate. Put it on your wall. Be proud of it. But don't get fucking caught in the glory. Go back to work. Khaleesi, position third, level two. Jane Khaleesi. It's all good. It's all good. I'm very happy with her. She gave me everything, everything, and that was that. So here we go. We'll just have a quick go over the score sheet. Heel work, square both directions, four out of five. Um, bit high, biting cones, etc. She was a fucking nutjob. You know what she's like. Handshake, zero. Stay, sit, stay, 60 seconds with recall. Zero. Downstay 60 seconds with recall. Zero. You saw the obedience, it's already I've already showed you it. Speak on command. Four, slight anticipation of the speak. So it meant before I told her to, she was like, ah, I'm gonna bark, I'm gonna bark, I'm gonna bark. Total eight. Eight in obedience. Eight out of twenty-five. That is fucking horrendous. And I'm fully aware of that. And now we're gonna prep for that. We're gonna sort that out. So, out of 25 here, there's three judges in um, the protection aspect. So, there's Chayton, Ian, and the decoy. Bite station one, out of five, three, three, four. Bite station two, four, four, four. Bite station three, 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 four. Bite station four, five, five, five. She did well. Bonus five points for obedience is done, obedience is done off lead. Absolutely not. There was no chance. And I knew there was no chance. I told you all this in yesterday's vlog. No, on Friday's vlog, or whenever it was. I did an overview of how I thought it would go. And it went exactly as I expected it to. She um, did horrendous in obedience and fought back in bite work and did very well. So I shall take this and put it in my office somewhere. Laroque Moore, working dogs, level two, third. Happy, happy, happy with that. I've not got four and a half hour drive home, so. I shall see you tomorrow. Question of the day. Bit of a different one. Question of the day is, do you have any questions about this trial? About what goes on, about why it goes on, about what the dogs have to do, about what the people have to do, about how to enter, anything. Any questions about trialing dogs, this trial specifically?